What's going on, everyone? Welcome. This is the Warehouse Series, and this is Discord Friday. So, guys, remember when I do these videos, when I'm critiquing your work, it is nothing against you as a selector. I am trying to help you and other people. Now, with that being said, guys, if you want to subscribe, join Discord, link in the description below. Give me a thumbs up. And if you want to help the channel by donating to Venmo, I really appreciate it. All right, guys, so the first picture I want to look at is this one right here. And the reason why I like putting these on here is because we don't get many produce. But, guys, see how we're each... Like this is basically dividing a pallet in fours and column, or I mean, I'm sorry, tying in each column. So even though we're column stacked to an extent, we're tied in with the broccolis, we're tied in with this down here, and then we get the cauliflower and it just tied in even more, and then we go the opposite direction. Perfectly done produce pallet. I love the carrots up top, uh, just crates down. You know, it's just perfectly done. I wanted to throw this up there because this is how, uh, I just truly believe something like this in the wet room should be done very quickly. This, this order right here should be done in probably 12 minute stops. All right, so guys, now I'm gonna start throwing some of my work on here because I've been starting to select again. And I like showing my work. I mean, I'm the one that preaches all this stuff on this channel. So I like to show you what I do when I work. Uh, so this here, I needed 20 waters. I will throw them like this every single time. I told you I don't like using these as a full base because I like a strong back. These do not give me a strong back. They give me a very uh, weak base and I don't like weak bases. If I needed five more, these were 20. If I needed five more, I probably would have threw them up on the front of my front pallet. If I needed 40, of course, I'm filling it all in and using it as a base. There's only so much you can do, but 20, they're up front like this all the time. And that gives me my strong back. I'd rather have boxes, nice sturdy boxes instead of these things shaking all around on the back of my pallet. All right, guys, and this is my front pallet. And as you can see right here, uh, I basically got some columns going uh, because as you can see, nothing matches up. It, it's all different cases. I mean, you could probably just look at the front of this pallet and pick out probably 30 different cases. So there's only so much I could do. Uh, just, just trying to you know, make it work to the best of my ability. I had a weak corner here with the water. Uh, usually I throw my waters up front and it ended up being a weak corner because this started pushing over on this. So I had to try to you know, and it just didn't work out. That's why you see wrap on it. But uh, there's only so much you can do when you get these big pickles, two liters. Now, I tried to tie it in at the two liters right here. Now, remember what I always say, guys, you call them stack until you can tie in. You don't force a tie in. When you force a tie in, that's when your pallet goes really wrong. You wait for your opportunity to tie in. And mine came up here, almost done with my pallet. That was my opportunity to tie in. You can see the side down here. I should have blew this up for you guys, but right here, you got a two liter. Is coming off of this column and just coming onto this column. So that's just enough to get some weight distribution coming over. Uh, same down here, guys. You see staggering going on here, just little lips from here to there. Uh, you know, when you're in this part of the warehouse at our work, uh, you have no choice but to column stack and you want to try to maneuver those pallets or, or cases around as much as possible. But you don't see any cases going in this direction in this part of the pallet. All right. It just doesn't happen. All right. So let's go on to the next one here. All right. So this, someone posted this and I've been in my warehouse for 25 years. I have never, ever in my life seen people lay two liters on their sides like this. Uh, so for the person that posted this, our reaction, it was mine and a couple other people's reactions was like, what the heck is that? Uh, I just never seen it and I would never do it. So I highly recommend if you are a new selector, zero liquids on their sides. I put no liquids on their sides. Uh, so with this here, uh, my what I told them is, is guys, you cannot trust every cap is on there perfectly. It just doesn't happen that way. Some of them get you know cracked on shipping, and let's say we put a maybe it was perfectly fine upright, but when we lay it on its side, now it's leaking out, and it's just the whole thing is just going to get leaked on on its way to the store. That is one of my main reasons I will not put liquids on their sides. Not to mention that I don't find this easier stacking. I, I think it's it's easier to stack these upright, uh, in my opinion. I, I would 1000% never stack a pallet like this. I'm not saying he's wrong. All right. Now, I told him if your warehouse lets you get away with it, then do it. You know, uh, if they're not saying anything and then transportation's fine and it's getting to the store fine and the store's not complaining, then I don't got a problem with you doing it. But me personally, I would never do it. All right. So let's move on to the next one. These next couple of pallets are really nicely built. I mean, just perfectly done. I, I mean, I mean, we got a lot of uh, cases the same size, keeping our lower case on the inside. Uh, just slightly lower, same here, pointed. See how we came back in? 
we point inwards. I just love it. The whole way up this palette is just perfectly done. Uh, and then we just get that long box coming in, and now we're just going to keep, you know, that's how that's why we keep our insides lower, so we get that dip going down towards the middle. Very nicely uh, done palette, and this one as well. Uh, just perfectly done, you know. Uh, see how we're, we're missing our board? Okay, so the only thing I would do differently. So we're missing our board, and we came out over the part where we were missing. The only thing I would do different is I would turn these cases so they were going the opposite direction. Because with this, putting a case sideways over the gap where the board's missing, it's more of that case hanging into that empty uh, spot. If you would turn these sideways, you would get the short end of the case hanging over this empty spot, which is gonna allow less of a dip forward. I hope that makes sense. Other than that, this palette is just perfect. Small filler case, guys. I mean, right in the middle, I mean, just all the way up, smaller case on the inside, bigger case on the outside, keeping nice strong corners, keeping our salad dressings together, topping it off with the Ben's rice. I mean, just, I love it, man. This is perfect. We even got a slip sheet in here, right here. I got no problem with that. You know, uh, just nicely built palette. All right, guys, I'm gonna get on to these ones. Remember what I said, I am here to uh, try to help you build a better palette. Now, this is definitely gonna be a time saver because you're just you're not, you're putting no thinking into it you're just column stacking uh and you did it in the part of the palette that i can't stand uh but my thing is is when this falls you're gonna have a freaking mess and it will fall uh you're gonna have you you just upped having liquid stacked up straight up like this your back palette's fine see how we have a solid base of cans and then you call them stacked your back palette is going nowhere because you have that nice strong base we do not have that nice strong base up front we have all columns of liquid and you got that middle section like this where bam if they fall you're going to have yourself a mess not more likely with the uh, gatorades but these t's these t's bust open uh, really easy now uh, the caps, I've seen those caps. As soon as someone drops them, the caps just crack open. Uh, so these tees, guys. So what I have would have done differently. Let's just get to that. You have two waters facing this way. I would have put two this way and then two this way. I would have just that one more cross right there would have just gave this corner that much more stability. Other than that, I don't mind your corner right here. Uh, your corner is fine. This back part though, when you have all these the same, you could afford to form a base either out of the tees, uh, the, the whole back of this palette probably, I don't know what your other side of your palette looks like, but you could have at least formed a corner. You could have three blocked a corner with the tees or you could have four blocked it with your boxes if you have boxes in the middle as well. So you could have easily tied this in either with the boxes as a base or the tees as a base. And then you could have swapped you know, and had the boxes on top of the tees or the tees on top of the boxes, and it would have worked out really nice. But if you're gonna call them stack, I would keep cases pointing in, but I would never do this with the with this liquid if I did not have to. If I had to, another story, but this could have easily been tied in on the back of your palette. Uh, and I would have just tied this in a little bit better. But we're gonna look at another one of your, a uh, couple more your pictures actually. All right, once again, this right here. Now, I don't know if this is your completed order, but if I, I, <sighs> I don't know. I like why you stacked your back at uh, palette of Gatorade really nicely. I don't know why we didn't do that up here. Uh, you call them stacked again. Once again, I would, I wouldn't do it. I mean, God, you just move and this, phew, that whole thing's going to fall. Uh, it's not a good, it's a bad habit. It's a bad habit to get into, but you did a great job on your back palette. I wish you would have did that up here. I would never put these Capri Suns on their sides. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything more than likely. But once again, guys, I just got my roll liquids upright. Now, every once in a blue moon, you might see me put one Capri Sun on their side uh, up at the top of the palette. And it's just because I have nowhere else to put it. And, you know, but I would never call them stack a whole row like this. My front palette would have been nice and tied in uh and honestly with all these capri suns i would have stacked them right on top of the gatorade upright you know have them all tied in on the uh, gatorade upright and i just would have done it different uh do not call them stack weight do not call them stack liquid you are asking for problems all right in the last palette once again i want to look at yours uh and honestly this one's actually really nice except for these gatorades on their sides uh, so what would I do differently here? I, I don't know what you got coming up after these Gatorades, but once again, uh, I would just 
these two Gatorades that you got, actually you got four Gatorades in there. I would just keep going like that. And I mean, honestly, one of these waters would probably fit in there. I know you have a nice strong back with your water and it's exactly how I would do it. That, you know, you did that perfectly back there. Uh, but I would rather have a water maybe filling in this gap, you know, a cup of waters filling in. Think about it. I don't know if they would even fit in there, but if they did, you could put two waters on top of each side and then you won't have to put these liquids on their sides. Uh, I don't know if that would work or not, you know, or even just push these, get this whole entire row of Gatorades up here and stack your water right here. I, I think it would fit. I, I don't know. It, it possibly could. Uh, but I'm not a fan of putting the liquids on their sides. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, at Ham, I am not going to be doing another uh, video breakdown of his work. Uh, he has the GoPro on. I was just watching uh, some of his videos, and I like focusing on the stacking, not so much of walking into the bay to select the cases. Uh, that's why I like the way Cool Wolf set it up, like how I do it. Uh, just fixating that camera on your jack so you could actually just focus on the pallet and the stacking. I'm not really worried about walking into the racks and grabbing cases and stuff like that. I want to see the actual stacking. And I just don't think it's worth the time of doing it because there's not much to learn from because it just, I would have to sit there and pause it and you would get blurred visions. And because I want to focus on the stacking, not so much the picking. So, with that being said, guys, that's the end of Discord Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not a subscriber, do that. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.